This is an emergency action notification. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the California State Governor's Office and the Center for Disease Control. This is not a test. Civil authorities have issued a biological hazard warning for Los Angeles County effective 8.01 a.m. and lasting indefinitely. At approximately 7.39 a.m. Pacific Time, an airburst detonation was detected in the North Pacific Ocean off the coast of Southern California, 1.5 miles from the Santa Monica Pier, coordinates, latitude, north 33 degrees, 59 minutes, 40.5 seconds, longitude, west 118 degrees, 31 minutes, 12.9 seconds. The detonation occurred 300 feet above sea level. Plumes of black gas were carried on prevailing winds, east and southeast towards Santa Monica, the Los Angeles International Airport, and Inglewood areas. Over the next hour to two hours, winds will continue to blow the gas towards downtown Los Angeles, Beverly Hills, Torrance, Glendale, Hollywood. Pasadena and extending throughout the greater Los Angeles area over the next five hours. This threat appears to be a calculated attack on this country. The gas has been confirmed as an unidentified nerve agent, and this enemy presumed foreign. Their intentions are unknown at this time. Until further notification, all of Southern California is in a state of emergency. Because this appears to be a biological attack, Civil authorities recommend that the following actions be taken by all of the public in the reported areas. Civilians should remain in their homes, places of business, or locate the nearest fallout shelter. Do not attempt to evacuate the city. There is no time to escape if you are in one of the named areas. If your family or children are separated from you, do not attempt to locate them. You will be notified by civil authorities when it is safe to leave your current location. Any residents in neighboring counties hearing this warning should also take these precautionary steps. Close all windows and doors. Turn off the air conditioning, and seal all visible cracks with towels or clothing, and shut off all lights. Relocate to the basement of your home or business. Continue to monitor local media outlets for more specific information about your area. All public transportation, flights and city services, such as utility, trash, water, and sewage in Los Angeles County have been temporarily suspended until further notice. All streets should be kept clear for civil authorities and emergency personnel. Immediate symptoms of exposure to the unidentified nerve agent, migraine headaches, tightness in the chest, constriction of the pupils, watering of the eyes, confusion and disorientation. Symptoms of prolonged exposure, nausea, excessive saliva production and salivation, hallucinations, seizures, violent movements, discoloration of the eyes, itching, loss of motor function, mania, vomiting, defecation, urination, and convulsions. At this time, 81 cases of individual contamination have been reported within Los Angeles County. This number is projected to reach over 1,500 cases within the next half hour. No casualties have been reported at this time. Fluctuations in the local power grid have also been reported. It is unknown at this time whether or not these incidents are linked. More updates will follow as information becomes available. This is an emergency action notification. This message is being broadcast at the request of the United States government, the Center for Disease Control, and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is not a test. The United States continues to be attacked by an unknown enemy with a biological contaminant. A state of national emergency has been declared by the President of the United States since 8 1 a.m. New York, Chicago, Washington, D.C., Miami, 
Portland, Minneapolis, and San Francisco have reported biological attacks equal or exceeding the scope of the initial attack on Los Angeles, California two days ago. And an identified, non-lethal biological intervention detonated above each of these cities has effectively shut down all operations within each city and in the surrounding areas. In addition, a cyber attack has crippled all forms of digital broadcast, blocking all news channels, network towers, servers, and digital communication of any kind including access to the World Wide Web. Your local media outlets may be incapable of providing updates. This analog broadcast of VAS is the only remaining warning system in place nationally, and updates can be received via 640 or 1240 kilocycles on your AM radio receiver. This biological agent has been determined to be a vector for a viral pathogen. <laughs> Efforts are being made to stop the propagation of this virulent pathogen. Assume at this time that the pathogen is infectious. Stay safe and avoid panic. At request of the CDC, anyone showing symptoms of this pathogen should contact civil authorities so that you can be quarantined within your home or business as soon as possible. Symptoms of infection in hosts are as follows. Desiccation of the skin and eyes, which will appear as redness or lacerations. Excessive saliva production and salivation, violent movements, confusion, fear of water, inability to speak, unresponsiveness, mumbling incoherently, uncontrollable scratching, pockets of yellow and black fluid accumulating on the skin, most specifically on the face, back and arms and moments of intense, prolonged staring or focus on distant and perhaps invisible objects. Reports indicate that the vector is able to permeate walls made of porous materials such as brick, concrete, and also materials made of wood, plastic, and based metal. Do not remain in your homes or places of work or you will be exposed to the vector. Look at your nearest fallout or underground shelter and await further instruction. Your car will not suffice as a barrier against the vector. Do not attempt to flee inside your vehicle. Or it will be detained for your own safety. The vector appears to be targeting government buildings, large shelters, and mass gatherings seeking refuge. Do not attempt to flee in groups. Remain isolated and in small numbers. Do not attempt to reach loved ones. Do not attempt to evacuate the city or the quarantine zone or you will be detained. Remain in place while a response action is devised and implemented in your area. False reports have been circulating of civil authorities gathering contaminated suspected hosts into abandoned homes and burning these structures to the ground. These reports are entirely unfounded. Unruly behavior will not be tolerated within quarantine zones. Respect and obey civil authorities during this process of containment. You will not be harmed if you do as you're told. Do not operate your television, cellular phone, computer, or any digital device of any kind. The cyber attack component of this threat is a digital virus described as a complex auditory waveform. With no apparent visual information, deployed through any digital instrument available. The signal is a prolonged, high-pitched sound, and is linked to the vector. The nature of the link is unknown at this time. If you own or are in close proximity to any of these digital instruments, destroy the instrument. Do not power off or unplug them only. Destroy them until there are no lights and it is beyond operational capacity. Female hosts that manifest symptoms of contamination become unresponsive when in the presence of this signal. They collapse into a catatonic state and remain silent staring at this source. Male hosts that manifest symptoms of contamination become distant, unresponsive and attempt to migrate to an unknown location, no matter their state of injury, incapacity or level of containment. The male hosts will not listen to reason, and should not be impeded if they attempt to migrate. 
if attempted to be removed from the path of the signal, or if the conductor of the signal is turned off, the hosts, both male and female, will be violent, and attempt to spread contamination through scratching with fingernails, biting, salivation, or opening infected pockets of fluid present on the forearms, face and neck. Contaminated hosts appear to be surrogates for the enemy. They are not to be trusted, assisted, or reasoned with. Consider them a threat. Even if the contaminated are friend, family, or loved one, the outward appearance is only meant to deceive you. The inside, and anyone showing symptoms should be treated with extreme prejudice. Cases of contaminated civilians is projected to reach 50 million within 12 hours. Approximately one in every seven people will host the pathogen at that time. Three million confirmed casualties have been reported within the last 24 hours in varying cities. And this number is projected to reach 8 million within the next five hours. Official updates will be delivered through the emergency alert system notification protocol and solely through this protocol. Until the enemy is identified, consider any unofficial broadcasts as attempts by the enemy to confuse or misinform you with false information. Do not listen to them. More updates will follow as information becomes available. This is an emergency action notification. This message is being broadcast at the request of the United States military. Martial law has been declared in all cities of the United States since 1830 hours. Please cooperate with all military authorities. All power has been removed from executive, judicial, and legislative branches of the United States government. All civil law, civil rights, and habeas corpus are currently suspended. Citizens defying martial law will be subject to military law, military justice, or military tribunal. Remain isolated within your homes or shelters. If you are discovered outside your home or current place of shelter, you will be executed without hesitation or inquiry. Contamination zones have been reported along entire regions of both coasts and borders, extending outside of larger cities and into suburban and rural communities. There are reported cases of the unknown pathogen in every major American city and in every region of the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Reports of similar attacks have been confirmed in London, Madrid, Berlin, Paris, Mumbai, Rio de Janeiro, Beijing, Shanghai, Tokyo, Moscow, and Manila. Unconfirmed reports span the entirety of the globe. Casualties due to the digital pandemic border 2 billion people. 1.5 billion cases of contaminated hosts have been confirmed across the Earth. The pathogen is linked directly to the biochemical clouds of black gas, the black gas of contain vectors for a pathogen, and these have been identified as small machines which infect both organic and digital hosts alike. These machines are both vectors for the pathogen and signal, creating a bridge between the mechanical and organic and allowing the two to communicate and operate as one through digitization. They are capable of controlling the mind, body, and will of the host, effectively turning the host into a conduit or a receptor of a signal emanating from any digital communications hardware. Once established, this signal connects the drone host to a larger source of directive and consciousness, or hive mind. The location of his source is yet to be determined. The signal also appears to be a form of indoctrination. Drones appear only in female form both living and deceased. These drones have been reported to remove their own eyes and cauterize the open wounds with fire or heated metal. The machines appear to aggregate in the empty eye sockets, and in the presence of the audio signal, the eye sockets will pulse red. It is uncertain at this time the function of the pulsing light. 
The drones are fully capable of dismembering an uninfected vessel. They show remarkable strength. Stamina. The drones are exceptionally lethal in groups and highly resilient. Even brain death does not appear to stop the drones from advancing. The drones have proven to be efficient at absorbing numbers into their own collective and are also able to replicate the signal, using their bodies as conductors and joining their voices together to relay the audio wave at deafening amplitude. Remains of male drones have been discovered in mounds of body parts and mass graves. The male drones have migrated outside of inner cities, gathered to a few isolated areas, and decimated their own numbers in mass suicide or homicide. The epidermis and flesh from these bodies have been stripped down to the bone. The recommended weapon against these drones is immolation or incineration. Hibernating drones, or drones that are currently awaiting a new directive, can be grouped safely into a confined area. As long as there is no break in the signal, lighting the area on fire will dispatch several drones at once. They will not appear to react to or even notice the flames, and will only become hostile if the source of the signal is removed or destroyed. Militarization efforts and control over strongholds have been steadily declining. The heads of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches have been executed. The District of Columbia has been entirely razed and overrun with drones. Tribunities are crippling the infrastructure of the United States and other major cities around the world. They seem to be creating a superstructure from the raw materials of raised cities and flesh of deceased male hosts with unknown intent. There is no plan or protocol being devised any longer by either military or remaining government agencies. Within eight hours, one half of the population of the Earth will either be infected or deceased due to this digital pathogen. Sociopolitical and military collapse in the United States is predicted within 18 hours. Sociopolitical, economic and military collapse of every major city in the world is predicted within 40 hours. And all of human civilization as we know it will be destroyed within the next 72 hours. There doesn't appear to be any biological resistance or immunity as the pathogen is mechanical and digital in nature. The only information that can be made available to anyone still listening and unaffected by the unknown pathogen is that analog stations appear to be wholly unaffected by this attack. Continue monitoring through analog channels 640 and 1240 on your AM radio receiver. Please broadcast any information you might have or any encounters made over the last 72 hours over the analog radio to other survivors. The safest location for any uncontaminated survivors is beneath the earth in sewers, subways, tunnels or caves. The signal and vector does not appear to be able to permeate the earth itself. If for any reason, analog or radio transmissions fail, correspondence can be sent to the Uncontaminated survivors ready and willing to fight can rally at latitude, north 46 degrees 58.